very good day today. Uh, one of the supers worked for the quarry, and I had one hollow load to the job site I did. Basically, it was two driveways I was working on, and I got to finish up the second one today, or I mean tomorrow. Um, but anyways, I figured I'd, you know, hop on here and do a little live stream. I got a video coming out pretty soon. Um, how and uh, so basically how to prepare yourself for a bid, you know, or how to prepare for a bid, what to bring, you know, that that type of stuff, what you got to know. Um, but that's, that's the next video I'm going to do. So I'm going to do this live stream first and talk about, you know, my little knife collection I got. It's something that I enjoy collecting and it's, you know, it's just something I've had. I've kind of accumulated a whole bunch since I was a kid, you know, growing up in the Boy Scouts, you know, you get your totem chip, you know, and you get a pocket knife and then the next thing you know, it's like the coolest thing you get, you know, as a Boy Scout. You get your toe chip, you get your pocket knife, and it's your permission slip to have a knife on you whenever you want, you know, basically. And uh, I carried a pocket knife all the way through uh, junior high school and high school. You know, even though you're not supposed to carry a knife, I still had, you know, my Swiss Army knife in my pocket 100% of the time. Um which, you know, this is it's not really a knife. It is a knife, but it's, you know, it's only like two inches. So it's not really, it's more for like cleaning your fingernails. You know, if you need, you got a screw you need to do or something. So I always carried this Swiss Army knife. This one I did get from my dad. Uh, it's one of the only things I ever got from my dad that I can remember. Um... It's missing the tweezers and the toothpick, you know, every single one of them are. I could buy some, but I just never did, so. Anyways, I'm going to go through and show you, basically, in the order I remember getting these. Well, I guess I shouldn't do that. That would take too long. And I don't really remember which order I got them in. So I guess I'll just show you um, kind of a grand overview real quick. I'll just show you real quick uh, how many I got, and then I'll go through and talk about some of the ones I got. If you guys are even interested, you know, so this is just kind of a... So, that's all the knives I'm... Um, so, without further ado, let's get started, and I'll kind of start... Um, this is a fillet knife. I just bought this not too long ago. Super flexible. Like, you can really bend that sucker. It's an amazing knife. If you're doing fish, super cool. Um, it's got a sheath. This hey, thing. Hey, I'm doing a video. No interrupting, okay? So, anyways, here's the fillet knife. It's got a sheath. Pretty cool. Super sharp. So I just went on vacation over the over Memorial Day weekend with my wife and my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, and we had a great time. And we stopped at all these antique shops and, it, and a few farmer's markets. And so I picked this one up over the weekend. It's got a Kydex sheet. Uh, it's got a plastic clip. Super cool. It's got a drop point tip on it. Super, super, super sharp. This is one of my favorite knives. I just picked this up. This is very aggressive, you know, for your finger. Super cool. It's got a black. It's hard to see, but it's like black and gray handle. Super thin. I love this thing. This is another one I picked up. Uh, it was at a bargain antique shop kind of thing. Super cool looking. When it was in the, the case, the handle looked blue, like the lighting on it look blue now it kind of looks purple it's kind of weird but anyways i, I bought this because this blade is so cool looking it's like yeah it's like a super cool knife and it's got this leather sheath so picked that up thought it was cool here's the next one i picked up i picked both these two up at the same place this has got the damascus steel which is pretty cool 
It's got like this bone handle. It's pretty cool. So it's kind of like the same thing, you know, super cool. Bought it because it looked super cool. It's not like super sharp or nothing, but it's it's pretty cool. And then it's got this leather case. This is kind of cool because these unsnap, right? So you can put your belt through this and you can have it, you know, sitting like this if you wanted to instead of, you know, traditional like that. So that's kind of cool. Then I got this one. I've carried this one for a long time. This is my Bear Grylls knife. It's like a survival knife. It's got this big heavy metal piece for, you know, hammering and stuff. It's got a sheath on it with a sharpener and a uh, piece of flint, you know, so you just, you can start a fire with it. I'm really good at starting fires with flint, so, you know, it's, most people it's kind of a gimmick because they don't know how to start a fire with one, but I was in Boy Scouts forever. That's I taught a whole bunch of kids how to start fires with those. Um, and speaking of Boy Scouts, when I was in Boy Scouts, uh, this is this is my first knife I bought when I was in when I was staff at a Boy Scout camp. Um, I taught Scout skills basically, and it was like. You know, how to build a shelter, how to start a fire, you know, that type of stuff. So I bought this. This was my first knife I ever b remember buying myself. This was expensive. This was like 50 bucks or something like that, which was a lot of money for me back then. So I bought that. It's got a little sheath that just goes in there just like that. And ta-da. Anyways, when I was at scout camp one year, I came back as a scout leader uh, with the, with the troop, um, that I was a part of when I was younger, I came back and then I was, you know, I showed a whole bunch of kids like the super fast techniques of how to start a fire. And then one of the staff members was like, so impressed. He was like, Oh my goodness, this guy's like the pro teacher for scout skills. Like you should really come back and do this, you know? And, but short, long story Long story short, I got fired because there was a gay guy and uh, like he told everyone he was gay. And so I started telling other staff members that he was gay. You know, he said he was bi. So it's like I was just telling everybody. I wasn't like making fun of him or nothing. I was just like, oh, yeah, you know, he said he was gay. And I'm like, I don't think this is appropriate in scout camp. But anyways, I got fired. And uh, so I told him, you know, I got fired and it's like. I'd love to do it, but it's really not for me. Scouting's going a different direction. And that was the last the last year I went to scout camp um, that I can remember. And at the end, they have this cool ceremony, and uh, you know, they do a whole bunch of skits and they give out a whole bunch of awards, and you know, kids do merit badges and stuff. Dead mosquito. And uh, he gave he he uh, bought this knife. This is a really expensive knife, probably like I don't know, 120 bucks or something. It's it's the uh, Boy Scouts of America hundred year anniversary knife. And he wrote in here. He said, you know, Brian Van Dyne, the best. Tohobus 2011 Outdoor Skills Loose Cannon. You know, he wrote that on there. He said I was the best, you know, at, you know, teaching the kids and stuff. So he thought I deserved that. So that was super cool. Doug's asking, how's the peanut butter bread? Good. Oh, it's good? Yeah. And then, uh, let's see, I got this. This is a multi-tool. Got this from my stepdad. It has U.S. oil engraved on it. Daddy, Poopa has the orange players too. Yeah, Daddy bought him those orange ones. Anyways, this one was given to me by my stepdad from U.S. oil. It's like one of the terminals that I used to deliver fuel to, so it's it's kind of got a little sentimental value to it, you know, because it's it's something I did for a long time, and I got this from my stepdad, so it's Cool little multi-tool. It's got a little flashlight on it. It's always dead, though, because 
It's one of those ones where you tighten it and the light comes on and you loosen it and the light goes off. And so if you have it too loose and this stupid thing disappears and it falls off. So you have it just tight enough so it's not on or, you know, but not loose enough that it'll unscrew and fall off. And it somehow managed to always get tighter and turn on and the battery goes dead. This is the, it's a Winchester. This is a plier multi-tools. This is one of the first ones I ever had. My mom bought it for me a long time ago. Still got it. What? Yep, it's a Winchester multi-tool. Okay. This is a multi-tool I bought, I don't know, probably two years ago or so. I freaking love this Skeletool. It's uh, got a very sharp knife. You know, everything's all skeletonized, so it's super lightweight. It's got the stupid mosquitoes, man. They're everywhere. Uh, it's got the Phillips head, big and small. And it's also got uh, the flat head, big and small bits. I broke this. Fun story, I broke this plier trying to pull a nail out of one of the dump truck tires. I was reefing on it, twisting it, and it just snapped it right there. You know, you can see it snapped it. Snapped it pretty good, so. Love this thing because I could have it, I could just clip it right to my belt loop, you know, without having to have a belt, so that was cool, I liked that. There's a small little Leatherman I have. I never carry it with me. I don't even know how I got it. I just have it. Maybe picked it up at a yard sale or something when I was younger. There's a little fingernail cleaner knife. I don't even know where that came from either. It just somehow ended up in the collection. Um, this knife right here, my wife bought me a I few. Mean, oh, and oh, and Brian and Rosemary. They bought it for me for... Uh, what did you buy it for me for? Uh, for Christmas. Oh, for Christmas. I don't know if it was Christmas, but it was not too long ago they bought it for me. Um, because it was orange. You know how I like orange. And, uh, it kind of matches my first knife that I got. That's what you got old. That's this was, my wife bought this for our anniversary when we first got married. This is kind of like my honeymoon gift or whatever. You know, she bought me this knife, so... I think this was for another anniversary or something, but can't remember. But the plastic piece, the sheath tip broke and the knife point sticks out just a smidge. So I had to put this electrical tape on there. <laughs> then I got this knife. This is a throwing knife. Got this. This was given to me by a scout leader. We went and we were throwing knives and stuff and doing the tomahawk thing at the sportsman's where sportsman's club or something all over on canyon and i made this little sheath out of leather just goes in there kind of cool not too many people have a real throwing knife that's actually made for throwing so i got that this one's my brother's knife it's got a little spider on it what's up morgan it's got this little sheath it's like a spider-man dagger thing I've been holding on to this ever since he went to jail for him. Then this one right here is really cool. This is a like a letter opener knife from my father-in-law uh, from India. He worked he worked at, and so he went to India a lot and he traveled a whole bunch of places and anyways he bought me this. This is pretty cool letter opener. It's like a little either a llama or a horse or I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to be but probably a giraffe maybe a giraffe but it's really cool it's got the Damascus steel you know I sharpened it but it's still not super sharp the, the point is pointy but pretty cool knife and I talked about this one this is a Swiss Army knife I still have my dad gave it to me one of the main reasons why i kept it is because my dad gave it to me and i don't know if you guys have ever watched macgyver it used to be a it was a tv series way back I, in the I, day I watched 
more valuable. Because I put it on for you, silly. And uh, anyways, MacGyver always uses a Swiss Army knife, and he like disarms bombs with like you know chewing stick, chewing stick gum wrappers and stuff like paper clips. He always uses his trusty, dusty Swiss Army knife. So that's you know that's pretty cool. You know, I got one of those. You know. And then over here we got another knife. This is another one of those knives. I don't really remember how I got it, but I got it. I think this was given to me by my mom also. It, I think it's a Winchester knife too. Then I got this knife. This is a Milwaukee Fastback. My wife bought it for me. I love this utility knife. This box knife, like it's out so fast so easy you can change the blades by pushing that button flip them over i also have the other metal one this is a this is like a plastic or a polymer I have a metal one it's a little bit thicker i like to clip a little bit better on it and it holds like three extra razor blades this one doesn't hold any extra but it's lighter and it's slimmer it's pretty cool I bought this a long time ago thinking it was going to be cool, kind of like one of these, you know, like a fastback, but a carabiner at the same time, and I was not impressed with this thing. It's got this carabiner here, but it's so cheesy and Chinese, you know, Husty did a poor job at this thing. And then it's got these two little screwdrivers here that are so flimsy that if you tried to use it, you'd fail guarantee like I mean look at this thing look how much flex that thing has <laughs> like how are you supposed to screw drive something with that much play in it so I've never really used it I I bought it because I thought I'd like it and then I took it out of the package and realized this is the cheapest Chinese crap I've ever bought and this is another uh razor this one I keep in my toolbox my orange toolbox I like it because it's got this hook right here, this rubber hook. So when you're really pulling it, trying to cut something, you know, it, you get a really good bite. You know, it's, it doesn't slip out of your hand very easy. These are like two little like surgical knives. Got these from a yard sale back in the day. Never really used them. They just come in this cool little metal case. And then, I just found this knife the other day in the boat I got. I was cleaning it out, and I found it. This is a Winchester knife. You know, basically the Walmart brand. It says Winchester on it. It's really rusty. It doesn't have a sheath. It's not bendable. It's not foldable, I mean. I'm thinking about cleaning it up. This is another knife I found. Kershaw. It's like a fillet knife or something pretty flexible you know I found this down near Crescent Pond the other day when I went fishing with grandpa and Brian it was just laying on the ground somebody left it pretty crappy knife so they probably left it on purpose that doesn't look very sharp I never took the time to sharpen it so just a longer fillet knife I probably won't ever use it but got one this is another gift my mom got me. It's a, one of those Winchester's knife sets. It's got three different knives in it. It's got like the, the deer and the ducks on it. It's pretty cool. And then I got this one. It's also another Winchester one. Either my grandpa or my mom gave these to me. I can't remember. It might have been both. Like one gave me one, one gave me the other. You know, 2007 edition. I think that was like the year before I graduated high school. They're like, oh, here's a Christmas present, you know, type deal. But and then I got this right here. This is like a little seatbelt cutter bottle opener. Anyways, guys, that's all the knives I got that I can find. I usually keep them in this box right here. I got this wood box. From a garage sale 
So I keep them all in here. Kind of a cool little hobby I got collecting knives. Nothing super, super duper fancy or special. You know, this is probably the most expensive knife I got here. No, I bought this one myself this last vacation trip. It was probably like, I think it was like 200 is what I paid for it. So, it's a custom one. You know, it was, you know, locally made. So, super cool, super shiny, super sharp. Like it. So, anyways, guys, comment down below. Maybe you guys have a similar knife and you love it and that's your everyday carry. Let me know what you guys are carrying. If you guys carry a knife or if you use a knife, tell me what your favorite knife is. I'll look it up, check it out. And uh, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to hop on another live stream. I'm going to end this one. That way it's not long. And then I'm going to start another live stream. Um, talking a little bit more about how to prepare yourself for a bid and uh, that type of stuff. So anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Pound that like button, pound that subscribe button. Yeah, pound that like button, pound the subscribe button. And uh, I'm going to end this stream and then I'm going to start another one. That way for everybody who comes and watches this later, they're not like watching an hour long video or whatever. So, and then the stream.